Welcome back to Aliens. My name is Devin Reddy. Now this is a time of a year where we talk about the top technologies. Now this can be top 5, top 8 or top 10 technologies. See number doesn't matter. What's important is the technologies itself. See every year we say this is a technology which will change everything in the future or this will change the world. See that's not the case right? Not every year we have new technologies. So in this video, of course, we'll talk about the top five technologies. But apart from that, we have to also focus on those technologies which are still running in the market and they are trending. And we also talk about those technologies which will be coming in future. Of course, we can say this will change everything in 2020, but that's not the case. Uh, so there are some technologies which will come, but surely in future, uh, we'll talk about those two technologies as well. Uh, so stay tuned let's start with the technologies which are there in the market and which are hot so the first one in my list is big data in fact i heard about big data way back in i guess in year 2012 uh, so it's there for a long time but still it's hot in the market most of the technologies they are still looking for people who are experts in some of the big data technologies uh, so of course you can go with that uh, so it's basically huge amount of data is there on the servers with the companies and they want to make a sense out of it and of course to use that they use this new thing which is data science so that's the second on my list so big data the second one is data science so of course right if you have huge amount of data you have to make a sense out of it and you can make a sense out of it only with the help of uh, data science the third one is now think about this you have big data and if you have so much of data on the network, you have so much of value on the network, uh, anyone can hack it, right? And then we, we do hear this news everywhere that, you know, this server, server is getting hacked, you know, this company is losing this amount of data. Uh, so we have to make sure that we also secure it. And that's why the third on my list is cyber security. So the fourth one is, I mean, think about this, we have all this data, we have all this computing. So where you will have this computing, of course, we are moving towards cloud. Okay, we are not just moving towards cloud, it's already moved. Most of the companies, they have moved their infrastructure to the cloud infrastructure. Uh, one of the most famous infrastructure, the cloud infrastructure is AWS, one of my favorite. Uh, so that's the fourth one, the cloud computing. And the fifth one is, it's actually new, but then I feel most of the companies are starting started using it. And uh, yeah, so you can say they are replacing the jobs as well, which is RPA, the robotic process automation. Uh, so most of the tedious work or the repetitive work is, by, is replaced by RPA now. Uh, so maybe data integration or replying to the emails, now it is getting automated with the help of RPA. So it's not something which is very new, but then it's something which is very trendy now. So they are looking for people who can work on these technologies. Now those five technologies were something which is in the market and you can still go with that. Now the next five is actually the hot. Okay, when I say hot, it simply means uh, it's very niche. Not, not a lot of companies are working on them, but they want to work on them and they want to hire people who can work on these technologies. So now I will go in a descending order now. So let's go with the fifth one. So fifth in my list is, so you can, you can guess this technology. So this is a technology which will help you to connect all your devices. You know, you have your smartphone, you have your smartwatch, you have your smart bulb, uh, you have your smart fan, smart ACs. You can connect all of them and they can interact with each other. So basically you can make a smart home. And not just you can use it only for homes, you can also use it for commercial use, for commercial places. And you guessed it right, IoT. So Internet of Things. Now this is something which which we were waiting for a long time. And in fact, uh, in fact, in 2016, I went to one of the workshops for IoT, and it was amazing. You know, the the way they demonstrated technology, I, I thought it will be implemented in 2017 itself. But then it's 2020 now, and still we are waiting for the full-fledged solutions for IoT. Uh, maybe this year we'll be having a lot of companies coming up with this these technologies. Let's hope with that. Uh, so IoT is one. The fourth one in my list will actually help IoT technologies. Uh, now think about this. When you say you have all these uh, gadgets or all these smart devices with you, of course they have to interact, right? They have to do some processing. So let's say if I'm wearing a smart watch or if I'm, if I'm driving a smart car, oh, that's what we're waiting for, right? Driverless cars. So if you have a driverless car and then this car has to interact with the server, now, most of the time you use a cloud server, right? So let's say you are driving in Mumbai and uh, you have a cloud server somewhere in different country. So of course there's a, there's a huge latency between the device and the server. Uh, so there should be a, there should, we have to reduce, reduce that latency. And the way you can do that is instead of using 
cloud computing which is way far you can use edge computing now edge computing is something so let's say if you have a device here so let's say if you have this room and if you have all these devices instead of having a server in maybe in a remote place like dubai we can have a, a a computing server somewhere nearby so that the latency will be less of course this edge computing servers will be connected to the cloud servers for sure but then to increase the latency or to decrease the latency time we can use edge computing that's the fourth on my list and of course most of the companies will start using edge computing to improve their latency so third in my list you can guess you can pause the video you can comment so this thing is actually changing the way you play games but then we can also use it for other purpose as well maybe for education uh, so this is ar vr the augmented reality and the virtual reality uh, so again from a long time a lot of companies are promising that they will be launching these products at least in uh, in us market uh, so I'm waiting for them to launch those products in the Asian market as well. Uh, so we are hearing about Oculus Rift. So Facebook is working on that. In fact, I've also heard about some companies or some, some startups, they are working on AR, VR, which will help the education system, which will help colleges, which will help schools uh, to teach some concepts. Uh, so that's AR, VR, third on my list. Now it's time for top two. And now you can guess the first one, of course, no one can change that first one, right? So it doesn't matter which video you watch, it doesn't matter which article you refer to and whom you interact with. The first is always fixed and you can guess it. The second one in my list is blockchain. Personally, I'm a big fan of blockchain technologies. Uh, so when I started with blockchain, so basically blockchain will help you to have the immutable ledger on the network and it will be available everywhere. And it, it's also distributed. So we are waiting for this decentralized internet so that these big companies like Facebook, Google, they don't own your data. Basically you will own your data. So we are waiting for that time and blockchain is promising that they will change it. But again, the same issue, right? So in 2018 also, blockchain was supposed to revolutionize the, uh, the industry, but then it, is, it takes some time, right? because not every company is open for these new technologies and some companies have done their POC. Maybe this year, they will be launching a lot of products on this. Uh, so even I'll be making a lot of videos on blockchain. So if you want to learn about blockchain, check out the channel, there will be a blockchain playlist. Uh, so we can talk much about that. And then top of my list, of course, on everyone list is AI and machine learning. Uh, see, again, uh, it takes time for all these technologies to emerge and to uh, to prove their capabilities and we know about machine learning it is changing a lot of different things maybe in a personal sector maybe in the education, sec education sector maybe in the medical sector maybe we can have some more tools in the future which will be more of robotic right so maybe we can have a google assistant in fact we are using google assistant we are using siri they are not 100 percent ready for us but then they are improving every day thanks to your data of course uh, so that's the future, right? In fact, every company now, they are dependent on this, uh, these technologies. Now, one of the, one of the best case for me would be, you know, as a student, if you are learning something and if you want a help, of course, you want a teacher to help you to give your answer. What if the answer is already available on the network? It's just that we are not able to find it. So maybe your search will give you the right result, but that should be very customized result. Uh, so AI should know you, who you are, and based on that, it should give you the answer. Yes, Google does that, but Google does that based on your interest data. That's what they promise. But what if they can share, they can search something based on your emotions, based on the situations. So that's something AI can come up with and it can help students as well. Uh, so that's that's the AI part top one on my list. So this was, so earlier we have talked about the 20 technologies now, the technology which will be coming in 2020 or, and which will be evolving more. And now, time for the two technologies which will be coming in future and we all know about them the first one is the quantum computing uh, yeah i know i know so from a long time everyone's talking about quantum will change the world and 2020 was supposed to be the year where we'll be using quantum machines but we have to wait more uh, last year google said they have achieved quantum supremacy i doubt and even ibm is against that but let's say what will happen for what will happen to that news but it will take some time for quantum computing to be used in the mainstream servers the second one for me is 5g yes i know it's a mobile network so what's a big thing with that 
I uh, see with with mobile, with with 5G we have some problems which we are going to solve. The, one of the biggest problem was with IoT. Uh, the thing is, when you talk about all these devices which are connected and they have to share data, we always face the issue of latency, right? So there's a huge gap the, of the response time, and with the help of 5G we can reduce it. And once you can reduce the time between the interaction between the between devices, it will be having a huge impact on the overall experience of IoT. Uh, so I'm waiting for these two, two technologies, quantum and 5G, but it, I'm sure it will not be in 2020, at least in the Asian market. So yeah, that's that's my list of top five technologies, of hot five technologies for 2020. Uh, let me know your list as well in the comment section. Of course, instead of saying five, I went for 12, but that's how it works, right? So we, I can't skip technologies. Of course, every technology is important. So that's it. That's my that's my list. Let me know your list in the comment section, and I hope you enjoyed. Let me know. Let me in the comment section. Do like. Do share. Uh, that's it. Bye bye.